students good morning today we will continue with chapter number 5 judiciary in that the topic which we are going to discuss today is what are the different branches of the legal system so as you seen or as you have studied the abo case of dowry death falls within what is considered a crime against society and is a violation of criminal law to jaise ki humne abhi jo ek case dekha us case mein hum dekhte hain ki bhai dowry se dowry ke liye bahu ko maar dete hain to wo samaj ke against किया गया एक क्राइम है एंड दिस इज द वायोलेशन ऑफ क्रिमिनल लॉ विच आर द लॉ रिलेटेड एनी क्राइम यू आर नॉट ऑबेइंग देम यू आर नॉट फॉलोइंग देम सो दिस इज अ वन काइंड ऑफ क्राइम इन एडिशन क्रिमिनल लॉ द लीगल सिस्टम ऑल्सो डील्स विद द सिविल केसेस so we have two different branches that is criminal law and civil law here the difference or the distinctions between criminal law and civil law are given what are there in criminal law and what is there in civil law deals so in criminal law you can see that when you are not following the law or if you do any offense for example theft harassing a woman to bring more dowry murder then all these things are considered as a crime so in these cases some laws deals with the person it is usually begins with a lodging of an first information report means fir in criminal law a person first report a uh, fir in the police station and then we investigate the crime after which a case is filed in the court and here if found guilty the accused can be sent to the jail and also fine now let's discuss about civil law civil law deals with any harm or injury to the rights of individuals matlab kisi ke adhikaro ka hanan ya kisi ki personal property kisi ko personally koi nuksan ya ghayal karte hain to in cases mein civil law lagu karta hai for example disputes relating to sell of land purchase of goods rent matters divorce cases so these are deals or these are related to the civil law a petition has to be filed before the relevant court by affected party only in a rent matter either the landlord or the tenant can file a case the court gives the specific relief asked for for instance in a case between landlord and the tenant the court can order the flat to vacate and pending rent to be paid so these are the difference between criminal law and civil law now here is one question then that does everyone have 
access to the court then the answer is yes as per the rule or as per the constitution all the citizens of india can access courts in india means we can say that every citizen has a right to get justice through the courts if your fundamental rights are violated you can go in court if any citizen believes that their rights are being violated they can approach the court for justice some legal procedure procedures are there legal procedures involve a lot of money and paperwork as well as take up a lot of time and for poor person who cannot read who family depends on a daily way the idea of going to the court get to get justice often seems remote so for this kind of people in 1980 supreme court devised a mechanism of public interest litigation means pil to increase access to justice in pil one can allow any individual or organization to file a pli in high court or supreme court on behalf of those whose rights were being violated in early years means when the pil was new pl was used to secure justice on a large number of issues such as rescuing bonded laborers from the inhuman work conditions and securing the release of prisoners in bihar who had been kept in jail even after their punishment term was completed so in this way pil are in favor of the poor persons here some photos are given and according to the photo some informations are given that in photo 1 that in 2001 the drought in rajasthan and orissa meant the millions faced an acute shortage of food in photo 2 you can see meanwhile the government godowns were full of grain often this was being eaten away by rats third situation is that in this situation hunger amidst plenty an organization called the people's union of civil liberties or pucl filed a pil in the supreme court and stated that the fundamental right to life guaranteed in article 21 of the constitution included right to the food the states excused that it did not have adequate adequate funds was shown to be wrong because godowns were overflowing with grains and the supreme court ruled that the state had a duty to provide food for all here in fourth photo you can see that government provide more employment to provide food at cheaper prices through the government ration shops and to provide meat day meals to children it also appointed two food commissioners to report on the implementation of government schemes so for common person access to court is access to justice
अगर हम बात करें कि भारत देश में अगर किसी के साथ कुछ होता है कोई झगड़ा होता है या कुछ घर से कोई प्रॉब्लम है तो हम क्या कहते हैं कि भाई आई विल सी यू इन कोर्ट मैं तुम्हें कोर्ट के अंदर देख लूँगा वाई द पीपल आर सेंग लाइक दिस बिकॉज दे हैव ट्रस्ट ऑन द जुडिशल सिस्टम ऑफ इंडिया दे हैव ट्रस्ट that they will surely get the justice from the courts so every common man of every citizen of india are saying this kind of sentences because they have trust on the judicial system and judicial review the courts exercise a crucial role in interpreting the fundamental rights of the citizen they are and the courts observe when either the fundamental rights of the citizens are not violated however there are also court judgments that people believe work against the best interest of common person for example activist who work on the issues of concerning the right to shelter and housing for the poor believe that the recent judgment on evictions are a far cry from the earlier judgment another issues that affects the common persons access to justice is an inordinately long number of years that courts take to hear the cases means kai saal lag jate hain lekin nyay nahi milta it takes a long time period to hear a case here one table is uh, given and in that the number of judges who are working in india for example in supreme court sanction strength is 34 means 34 judges are there as 34 judges are working in supreme court and now there is no vacancy in high courts sanction strength means the strength how many judges can be appointed and in place of that uh, 655 judges are working so vacancies means 424 judges are not there and that's why it will take a long time to hear your case so here we complete our chapter thank you have a nice day